Pride is when I think I'm better than someone else. It's arrogance and overconfidence. Pride only looks at outward appearances and it says I'm better than you. Pride is what keeps us from forgiving. It's what keeps us from stooping down and helping others up. It keeps us from forming amazing relationships with really amazing people simply because they don't look cool enough or they don't look in enough or they're just plain weird. We've all encountered those kind of people, but it's the pride in us that even tells us that they're weird or strange or different. We can have religious pride. We can have pride in our gender. We can have all sorts of different pride that causes us to look down on other people. And the only person that it's really hurting is ourselves. When we elevate our egos to such a high place that other people can't attain the same level of cool or smart or enlightened, that's saying, I'm too good for you. You think you're not prideful? Think again. Let me ask you this question. Who is the smartest person in your immediate family? Be honest with yourself. Most of us would answer ourselves. Let me tell you, that is pride. And I understand we all know the junk in our family's past. We've seen our family at their best, but we've also seen them at their worst. And their worst sticks out a lot more than their best. So we automatically think that because we can justify all of the actions from our past, that we're the smartest ones in the family. So how do we overcome pride? Number one, don't be so critical. Whether you're watching a movie or listening to a teacher or a pastor or someone who thinks that they're an expert on a topic, don't automatically assume that you know better. Turn the smart part of your brain off temporarily. Be a little more open-minded and consider the other person's point of view. They're sharing it because they've come a long way and they've learned something. And just because you think differently doesn't mean that they're automatically wrong and they don't have something to teach you. Number two, be honest with yourself. If you really sit down and think, okay, if everyone in the world could see every thought I've ever had and could know every poor decision I've made, a lot of people probably wouldn't like me. We would all say that because we're not angels. We're human, we're unkind, we gossip and slander, and we're mean and hateful and critical. We can all say that about ourselves at our poorest moments in life. But that's why we have grace, that's why we forgive one another, because we know that we can all be in those low, spiritually bankrupt areas in life. And lastly, take your time to serve another person, especially someone you wouldn't normally hang out with or serve. Ask a friend out to eat, maybe somebody that you work with or someone that you see at some sort of fellowship that you attend. Go up to them and ask them to hang out with you. It's just like dating. Just because we're not in middle school or college anymore doesn't mean that we don't need friends. We need them even more now than we needed them back then. We thrive in community. Lower yourself a little bit, make yourself feel a little uncomfortable by reaching out to people you wouldn't normally. And I guarantee you, you're gonna learn some amazing things. You might not make a new best friend, but you'll absolutely make a new contact and you might learn something along the way. So swallow your pride, humble yourself, and stop being so critical of everyone else. I promise you it will make you a more satisfied and peaceful person. What do you think pride is? How have you seen it in your own life? And how have you learned to overcome it? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks guys, have a good weekend.